Across the country, there are thousands of pets in need of a forever home. Here in central Nebraska, places like the Humane Society, Start Over Rover, and Heartland Pet Connection are during, doing their part to find homes for our four legged friends. Meteorologist Tim Jones takes us out to Heartland Pet Connection to find out what, why one family chose adoption. Well, it's Friday, and that means one thing. We're at Heartland Pet Connection. I'm here with some very special people. The doggy here, that's Sammy, and the little boy holding him, that's William, and this is Mom, Carrie, and you're from Kennesaw, right? We are. Yep. So, why did, what made you decide? Obviously, it was time to maybe get a, a, a pet, right? Um, you know, we have pets. We've adopted from shelters before, uh -huh. um, and currently have a rescue at home, and uh, William has been looking for something for himself, and so we just thought we'd stop by and see if there's any connections made. Oh, nice. So, William, you, this is going to be your puppy? Yeah? That's all right. Hey, that's a good, Sammy's a good-looking dog. So, so you said you've done this before. What is it about the shelters that really drives you to come here and not somewhere else? Um, you know, we just, um, I have lots of kids that love animals. And to think of them out there and being put to sleep um, and just needing a loving home, sure. that's what we would rather do than buy one. Sure, and if if, if, if William doesn't want to answer this, Mom can do it for him. What about Sammy? Do, do you like? I mean, what was it, was it about this little guy that uh, kind of attracted you guys to him? What do you like about him? Mm -hmm. Energetic, <laughs> like you, huh? Except when he's on camera, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the first one we picked out of the kennel, so we're just trying him out here and seeing. Well, that's good. Okay, so so uh, what other kind of dogs do you have at home? We have a Shih Tzu in the house that belongs to my 17-year-old daughter, and then we have two outdoor Australian Shepherds. Okay. Okay. One, so that we rescued. So anybody that might be thinking wanting to give a forever home for for a, an animal, a cat or a dog, mm -hmm. what advice would you have for that person uh, coming to Heartland Pet Connection? What the, what should they look for? What kind of what kind of things uh, are important when you when you come to a shelter? Um, for us, it's will they fit into our family, and can we give them the time that they need? Um, with our last dog, we took a very large dog. We went in looking for a lap dog and came home with a 50-pound dog. And That's not lap dog. <laughs> no, that is not. Well, he thinks he is. Um, but my kids were able to wrestle with him and run around, and um, that's what's important to us. Okay. So and that's the, a fit for everybody. And the other thing is is that this is a, a lifetime commitment with this animal. This isn't just for a year or two. This is, this yep. is until death do us part, so to speak. Yep. Okay, and that's important because a lot of people don't realize it. Either. It's very important, and that's what each of my kids have had to learn is that you stick with it, even if it's hard or they make messes or they run off, you go and you find them. So. That's right, that's right. Well, thanks so much, guys, and good luck. I hope things work out with Sammy or whichever pet you choose. But in the meantime, it was nice talking to uh, William and having Sammy and, and uh, Carrie here from Kennesaw. We'll send it back to you.